Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Ules Kajapero. Pathophysiology of Kajap, Kajap, Black Kajapero Stater, Abnormality of Neocardial Function Responsible for Failure of heart to pump blood at rate common should rate with a requirement of metabolizing tissue during modern activity. Heart failure will reduce it at any decreasing neocardial contractility and heart failure with preserve. EF, I mean, left in the car and just volume and stroke volume and fissure. There is, however, abnormal decrease in left in the car and just distensibility. The best diagnostic clue for left heart failure. First one we have to find about the cardiac failure. Come together with pulmonary venous hypertension. So we can find some sign in the history like Kelly line, redistribution pulmonary edema, effusion, in radiograph, there are many signs that we have to find, like in like cardiac survey with pulmonary edema and possible Perfusion, poor definition of vessel margin indicate interstitial edema, rouge correlation of pulmonary capillary wedge reserve with chest radiograph finding like pulmonary venous redistribution, clinical line alveolar edema, as it goes superior when I cover and inferior when I cover, dissension if the medical or right medical failure. This radiograph of patient with left heart failure that show about the cardiac failure. Civilization of pulmonary blood flow and interstitial remain curly line and small perfusion indicate black solid arrow are also apparent. In CT, in non enhanced CT. So the apparent cardiomegaly, sometimes together with coronary, coronary classification signify coronary artery disease may be seen in ischemic cardiomyopathy. Increased pulmonary artery And bronco bronchus ratio. They mean the can see some sign like the uh, battery, hetora, uh, pulmonary plethora, like in the, uh, the chest and three. Mali and large highland lamnot.
In high resolution CT, we can find something like sickening of interlobular septa, bronchovascular bundle sickening, ground glass or airspace opacity, most prominent independent portion of the body. Cardiac guided CTA may demonstrate underlying cardiac cause of failure like myocardial infarction, left ventricular dilatation indicate dilated cardiomyopathy, mitral valve disorder, coronary artery disease. Delay enhanced CT. Different pattern of delay enhancement may be same similar to late collodinium and then um, on. Improve detection with dual energy CT. Extracellular volume, increased extracellular volume can be seen in single or dual energy CT technique. Correlate with more. This is a CT coronal reformation contrast enhanced CT in patient with left ventricle period, so prominent subtal line in the upper lobe bilateral black curve arrow indicate. Demarcating the secondary pulmonary lobule. This reflects the presence of interstitial edema with lymphatic distension. Axial contrast enhanced CT in patient with left and the demonstrate an abnormal artery and bronchus ratio. Why should it arrow indicate? with the atrial branch clearly larger than the adjacent bronchus, the fan ground glass of plastic black arrow and K. Noted it represent areolar edema. Plural fusion are also noted black open arrow in the cage. Axial contrast enhanced CT so bilateral plural fusion, interstitial demand with bronchial cupping, why should it arrow indicate, and by dilated left ventricle with sub endocardial direct peer fusion defect, black open arrow. In a patient with left macula due to ischemic cardiomyopathy. White chamber CT pulmonary angiogram P, so massive dilate, dilation of the left ventricle and left atrium. The heart is normal in size. How my finding? So, we usually use MRI for assessing the functional like stroke volume, ejection, fraction, and ventricular side. Late collodinium enhancement CMO is used to identify viable and non viable myocardial tissue. Late collodinium enhancement also is used to predict a response to beta blocker therapy and revascularization. Legal ordinary enhanced MR is used to distinguish dilated non ischemic cardiomyopathy from ischemic cardiomyopathy. In ischemic cardiomyopathy, we can find Reduce left ejection fraction latent. 
35% always have discernible pussy of abnormality on lead, collodinium, and hand compound. A non ischemic cardiomyopathy, damage of lead, collodinium enhancement, but uh, usually it's normal in 60% or make wall stick after in 28 to 30%. MRI also may demonstrate and characterize other non-ischemic forms of left ventricle failure like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, infiltrate chief cardiomyopathy, myocarditis, tacosubu disease, etc. In stage 1, Used for parametric mapping. Native T1 mapping is used tool in early identification of fibros, particularly diffuse fibros. You can find the sign of increased T1. Extracellular volume is increased in fibrosis. Calculated from pre and post contrast T1 along with hematocrit. T2 value is increased in myocardial edema. So, my is also used for prognosis, the risk stratification, and monitoring therapy. For chamber sign and leg. Calodinium and hand tampon in a patient with ischemic cardiomyopathy. So, seeing and the leg shun of the left ventricle affect, Y curve arrow indicate, used to clear infarction as demonstrated on late calodinium and hand tampon, Y solid arrow indicate. What the call along axis to chamber leg calodinium ampoule in a patient with ischemic cardiomyopathy demonstrate an injuryable infection noted by extensive subendocardial enhancement of the anterior wall and affect Y curve arrow indicate the infection is in the left anterior descending territory. Short axis low lead collodinium and can stumble at the mid ventricle law at a quick level. So sub endogadial enhancement of the anterior wall black arrow, black curve arrow indicate and anterior septum. Y curve arrow indicate signifying pre blood territory infarction. Short axis delay collodinium on more in a patient with dilated non ischemic cardiomyopathy demonstrate a line and linear strip of hyper enhancement that is limited to the mid wall of interventricle septum Y open arrow. This pattern is clearly different from an ischemic pattern which would involve the subendocardial. Short axis leg calodinium enhanced somehow in a patient with congestive vascular. So it's used leg calodinium enhancement affecting the endocardial one. 
ซอดอักซิสเลกาลอดิเมียมอัพออกอินเดอร์เพสเซนต์บีทนิวออนเซตอัพอัพเนียยูทูไวรัลมาอัพไดทิสโซตูนิจันออฟไฮเปอร์เ